I want to go now to our panel, Herb London, Ford O'Connell, and Gina Loudon. Gina, I'll start with you. Uh, I guess it's a sobering realization we've got to live with, but uh, it's, it's not easy to think that as we become more successful, uh, winning in Mosul, winning in, in Raqqa, uh, maybe some sort of a deal with, uh, with Russia for the rest of Syria, L Libya, and so forth, that our personal lives, our domestic lives, are going to be turned upside down by any kind of attack possible, whether it's these vehicle attacks that have become popular of late or mass shootings. Which is precisely, Charles, I think, why President Trump was elected. I think the people that voted for him um, expect him to uh, try to right this ship that has been going wrong for so, so long. And I think that's hopefully exactly what he intends to do, which is all the more reason why all the obstructionists in Congress uh, should get done with business and stop distracting from things like this that need to get done and require an awful lot of work. Well, uh, Ford, uh, you know, of course, uh, Comey covered a wide range of topics on the Hill. Uh, for me, this one stood out because a lot of it was backward looking, but this is forward looking and what we're seeing isn't pretty. Well, no, it's, it's not pretty. I think something else that Director Comey said it was pretty eye-opening is that citizenship is not a reliable indicator with respect to Islamic terrorist threats. We have to be pragmatic here in the homeland, and we have to come up with a whole bunch of different ways to stop this stuff at home and also to make sure, whether it's a travel ban or something that's better, to make sure that we actually are able to safeguard ourselves on the, for, on the international front. There is no one-size-fits-all plan, and we are going to have to change with the times, and we have to be proactive rather than reactive. Herb, uh, you've written several books on, on this topic. Uh, how do you see this all playing out? And, and I do want to also circle back and ask, uh, with respect to President Trump's travel moratorium that's been shot down several times by progressive uh, members of the judiciary, does this bolster the idea that we should have impl implemented that as soon as it was issued, rather than the sort of delay that we're dealing with now? I think there was a communication problem, but there is no doubt it should have been implemented, in my judgment. The one and perhaps overarching consideration in thinking about this question, however, is that this is an ideational war. It's going to go on for a long time. What kind of ideology that we have that can counter the ideology of the extremists, of the jihadists? That is a key question. And it's a question that goes to the very essence of what it means to be an American, what it means to stand for our Constitution, what it means to stand for our freedoms. Americans have to understand we love freedom, but do we know how to defend it? That is really going to be the key question of the next 30 or 40 years. But the ideology, are we selling it to, to would-be terrorists or we're trying to sell it to Americans to understand how to protect it or why it's so precious? I, to I, I think it's the latter. I think it's Americans that come to an understanding that it's not relativism that is the answer, that it's an understanding and appreciation of what we have in the United States that sets us apart from other nations, that makes it very different for the United States to engage in this kind of warfare because we are going to try and protect civil liberties at the same time we're going to try and protect the American people through a security apparatus. It's a well, very, let, very difficult, difficult security uh, matter. Herb, <laughs> I, I absolutely fully agree with you. I think the biggest destructive force in this country is, is American citizens on themselves not understanding the privileges they have and the, and the threats that are going on. And that is one of the biggest things that occurred in this past election where, where the Democrats are sort of selling this global globalization and didn't realize that we have to be Americans first. And that is honestly our nationalism and what binds us together right. and what makes us <laughs> similar is what's going to help protect us and save us. All right, guys, thank you all very much. Coming up, President Trump